Okay. I can't really get anywhere to show you. Okay, it's nighttime. This is the building. It's got a covered area to park under, so that'll be great for my bike. Finally, I'll have a place to put my bike. And I just saw a little alley cat go there, so there'll be something for that my cats to watch. Um, the apartment I'm looking at, this is this is one of the rooms. This is one of the bedrooms. Uh, I, as I said, there's a big central room, and then there's this room on this side, and on the other side of the building. Maybe I can get over there. I'm going to take a look. I'll go see. No, I cannot. I cannot get over on the other side. There's a fence, but um, so there it is, which is nice. It's not the first floor. There is no first floor really. So it starts out with second floor. Um, yeah, it's big. It is. It's not as big as where I live now, but it is comparable enough that I will feel comfortable. Uh, there are three big windows, one in each main room. There might even be, no, there's three. There are three, that's right. Um, three big windows, one in each room, perfect for the cats. Really perfect for the cats. Um, That's, uh, that's why I was worried earlier. I was worried about the cats. But if I can get this place, they will be taken care of. That will be a load off my mind. I know uh, people say, oh, well, we don't worry about an animal. But I have to live with these animals. And if they're miserable, they make my life miserable. If the animals are happy, then I'm happy. I, it's just like anything else. I mean, you live with a, another person. You know, the, if the other person's miserable, then you're going to be miserable. So, I mean, animals are no different, really. They can make our lives happier or miserable as they please. Okay, so you saw uh, the place I was looking at is on the other side of these buildings here. So it's just a short, short little jaunt down this drive. And there's a... Uh, convenience store here where I can get ramen apparently <laughs> or water or whatever else I might need um, I had dinner down there at a kimbap chunguk that was nice that's a nice little restaurant it's got a nice uh, choice of things it's just a, it's a cute little uh, part of town it's actually a town in itself I think so it's got one motel that's where I'm staying. So I'm going to go down there and get out of the cold. It is very cold up here. But whenever I leave Gyeongju and come anywhere else in Korea except any time I leave Gyeongju and go north, it's automatically at least 10 degrees colder. When people check out, they don't really check out, they just drop their key in this little box in the elevator and leave. Being a Western guy, I can think of all kinds of ways to exploit that.